Stakeouts are an integral part of field reporting. When you're trying to get a story off the ground and you're using a stakeout to do that, you're trying to prove or disprove a tip you've been given or some piece of information that's started the, the question of this story. A good example is we got a tip that someone had set up a tent and was living on Broadway. You have to kind of verify that. And the reason that you are, are gonna stake it out is because you can't walk by and see a tent set up in the middle of an esplanade and say, okay, that's proof someone's living there. You have to stay and observe. You have to make sure that not only is somebody sitting in there or whatever, but somebody's living in there. So I went and I watched. It was set up in the green space in between the two different roadways on Broadway. So I staked out the tent for, I don't know, four or five hours. I was waiting to see people coming in and out. I didn't see anybody coming in and out. So what I did then was I got out of the car for different periods of time and I went and talked to commuters and people who were walking by and asked them, do you live in the neighborhood? Have you seen this thing here for very long? And I uh, got a lot of feedback from a lot of different uh, people walking around. Then I saw one man go in after a while. I guess for the, most people that probably would have been enough. I think if you are gonna stake something out, you should do it as thoroughly as possible. You, may, you know, push your luck a little bit on every single story. In this particular one, I wanted to talk to the people who were living in the tent. I wanted to find out who they were, why they were there, and what was going on. I actually even rolled video when I walked up. <laughs> And I spoke to them and I asked them if they had a minute to talk. Yeah, the people around here, the bus drivers, the cab, the cab drivers, like mostly stop by, see us, bring us food. Their answers were shocking. It turned out someone in the neighborhood had come down, had seen them sitting out on the street, had come down, given them this pretty expensive tent. It was like a $250 tent so that they'd be a little more comfortable. Hi. And how about the, the tent? Some lady gave this to you? Yeah. 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 When was that? Um, she actually comes by all the time to check on us. Yeah. She even gave me a paper that has uh, numbers on it for this farm that they give you jobs. So I took all their quotes, attributed it to them, put the story together. And then when it went up, we got contacted immediately. Different law enforcement sources and a lot of people saying, do you know who that is? Do you know who that woman is? When the woman told me her name, that connected this story to a story we had done a month ago about a 19-year-old woman being murdered and she was involved. That changed that story from a quick one-hit story about a tent popping up on Broadway to another story we had done a month ago about a murder. And here's the person who is charged with, you know, concealing the corpse. Here she is living in a tent on Broadway. And we never would have known that unless we had staked out this tent and talked to these people. If you do your job thoroughly, you know, get down to the bottom of something bigger than the assignment I guess you're on a lot of the time. And this was one of those cases. So the next day, when our story, you know, had been up for a while and everybody had seen it, the sanitation department and the NYPD sent officers down there and they removed the tent and they, relocated these people. They, you know, moved them to different facilities. It wasn't like they were just allowed to like live on, on Broadway. <laughs>